Hey, how's it going everyone? This is really cool. Um, hopefully it's working, posting it in the group. Give me a thumbs up if this is if you guys can see me and hear me okay. Um, this is my first time on this uh, software. It's pretty cool. I can share my screen, it looks like. Um, but then today I wanna go over, and let me see how this works. Looks like my title's there, my logo's up here. Uh, so let me know if you guys can hear me okay. And at least give me a thumbs up or something. Um, I just want to make sure that this is working. All right, so it should say name your video. Perfect. Today I'm going to show you how to properly upload your video to YouTube. It's not just for YouTube, but so um, it's going to show nice on your website. But most importantly, Google's going to recognize it and also share it. So I also can see comments on here, which is pretty cool. So I'd love to hear from you guys where you're watching from and um, if you guys can hear me okay, if the volume's working. I'll get right into it. So the first thing I wanna show you is, let me expand this. And I'm, it's kinda of cool, I'm just kinda of watching myself right here from the phone. It's a nice delay. So this has really helped us with our, our website, uploading videos to Google or to YouTube the right way so Google recognizes you. Um, it's, it's really cool the results. When you do a Google search for automation links, my name, my videos show up there and then it links them back to either YouTube or my website, which is very helpful. So number one is Google actually recognizes the file type that you save your video as in your computer when you upload it to your YouTube. So usually you see all these crazy numbers, um, a bunch of numbers and letters in there uh, in your computer and you just upload it anyways. But they're actually looking for this right here, the raw file. And that's the name that you're gonna to wanna to name your title. So think about the title before you actually save, save or upload your video because you'll wanna rename it in your computer. So let me show you, I'm gonna bring up my file here. And hopefully it works, comes up pretty easy. There it is right there. So here's my video and what I wanna do is rename it. And if you guys have a Mac, this is gonna be perfect for you. If you have a Windows, it's probably pretty similar. Um, so I want my title to be Answer Your Client's FAQ. So I would just rename it here uh, before uploading it in. All right, so now when I'm on YouTube to upload it, I'm just gonna go to this uh, nice camera up here and upload video. Now, um, depending on how long your video, you know, it takes some time to upload it. I'm not gonna do it right now um, because I've already uploaded the video, but it's gonna look just very similar to this while it's uploading. So while it's uploading, you can start adding uh, all this info. So now that I have the raw file name saved, we're gonna wanna do the title the same way. Answer your client's FAQ here. Um, next thing, and let me change the title, because what we wanna do, is where we're gonna talk brief, brief information about what it's all about. So I'm giving you more information about uh, answering clients frequently asked questions in this video. So I'm gonna put my name in there, I'm gonna put my website in there um, also. And then the most important thing is right in this first paragraph, we wanna link your blog or your website in there some way. Now if you wanna get really technical, just you wanna make this video the same as the blog and then you link them together. Um, so that's what I've done here. I've got my blog in my website already. Um, I didn't have this video in here yet. I actually created the blog first, made the video, and then uploaded it because I wanted to get this URL. Um, and then this is my blog, obviously. So I have this URL because I want people to go back to this specific page on the site, and I'm gonna paste it right in here in the description. So now Google's recognizing my title. They're recognizing my video file. And then also anyone that watches my video on YouTube, they can go to this specific page on my website that's relevant to this. And then they can learn a little bit more about me and our website and how we help. Um, but you don't wanna spam this. You wanna provide info for somebody that's maybe never met you before. It's the first video they're watching. They're looking for your business. They are either gonna see this in YouTube or in Google. So you're actually getting double whammy here. All right, so next thing, and if you guys haven't seen anyone say that they could hear me, so hopefully, I'm not just talking to myself here. I'll have to add some uh, captions, closed captions underneath uh, when I upload this to YouTube, actually. All right, so next we wanna add tags. Um, this is basically telling Google what the video is about. 
I have my business name in there. Um, my name is in there. Actually, it's not in there. Um, I'll want to add some keywords that are in here. So answer clients. So I'm just going to say clients FAQ. Um, you can type in frequently asked questions. Tell Google what the video is about so it's easier for them to list you. When somebody's typing in clients FAQ that has to do with marketing, I want this video to show up in the Google search for them. Cool. Hopefully this is helping and you guys are going to reach out, right, if you need help with this. Create a thumbnail is next. So I found this nice little website, uh, pickmaker.io, that will allow you to make these cool uh, thumbnails for your videos. So basically what I do is I snap a picture of me in the, video, in the middle of the video, and then I add the title in there so they can see it. So let's go to the YouTube, and you can see my thumbnails. This is the one I uploaded. So what I basically did was snap this picture, uploaded, put my uh, title in there, and uploaded it there. So this is the first thing that people are gonna see in Google search and YouTube search. You wanna make this powerful, effective, about the title, and I like to say don't um, spam it. Make it exactly like it. So if I was wearing a completely different shirt in this picture than I was in the actual video, they see one shirt, they get into the video, they see a different shirt. Um, it just doesn't look realistic. So make it as real, as personal as you can. That's what I uh, recommend for this. All right, last thing that we wanna do is make sure it's in the right playlist. So this is gonna help people filter through your channel. We have uh, quite a bit of playlists here. This is our framework, so everything I teach is in our framework section, so I put it right in here. I have a different framework that's an eight-part series, so if somebody wants to watch all eight videos, they can go through it. If somebody wants to learn more about automation links, I have a couple videos explaining that. But uh, think about yourself. How do you act when you go to YouTube? If you find a business that you like working with, do you go through their playlist, and now you can they can filter on exactly what's gonna help them the most. So. If you're a trainer and you have a bunch of nutrition tips, put them all in a playlist. If you're a chiropractor and you have um, some healthy tips, put them all in a playlist so people can filter through and watch more than one video. That's really the, where the results come, watching more than one video when somebody comes to your site or through Google, you want them to watch uh, more than just one. Uh, so the playlist will help with that. All right, so I think that's it. Let me know if you guys have any questions, if you need any help with this. I'm gonna use this uh, video as a guide on our website. And what we'll do is we will uh, put this on so you can come back and watch the video on YouTube in our blog section. And um, also, I'll include this link because this is pretty helpful. You can make Instagram thumbnails, uh, YouTube thumbnails, and what basically any type of thumbnail you want, uh, which is very helpful when you're creating these posts. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Leave a comment below if you need any help with this. And I hope you guys have a great day.